Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we're talking about Jalen Harris. I want to hear your thoughts down below, Toronto Raptors fans, NBA fans. What are your thoughts on Jalen Harris? This man got, in my opinion, banned from the NBA for a bullshit reason. And he just did some blow, man. He just did some blow in the offseason at a party, and he got banned for a year. And the reason why I say it's just some blow is I don't think he's out there smoking crack nor is I think he's out there addicted to, you know, coke. I think the thing is, is that the reason I say it like that is we have people in the NBA who have done worse things and they didn't get suspended or they got suspended for less. I'm talking about, you know, some violence against women and other things. I'm not, that's not what this video is about. I just want to like, I think Raptors fans agree with me. It's kind of bullshit reason. And... Uh, one year ban for that but yeah well, let's talk about jalen harris like i understand giving him a suspension okay give him like you know 10 15 20 games whatever you want maybe tell him to seek like force require like you know outsource rehab but like a year ban make this guy go to italy i mean there's nothing wrong with playing italy or the cbl which is the canadian elite basketball league but that's my thing but first off there was the it came out that you know Sham Sharania originally said that he had been dismissed and disqualified and originally back in July 1st, 2021, but then it was announced a few, a little while ago that he was actually allowed back in, he had been reinstated, his application was accepted, and guess what the Toronto Raptors did on August 20th, yesterday? They have tendered a qualifying offer to the recently reinstated Jalen Harris. Harris is now a restricted free agent. Harris was with the Toronto Raptors on a two-way contract during the 20th to 2021 season. Following that season, Harris was handed a one-year suspension for violating the NBA slash NBA PA joint drug policy. Harris was reinstated by the NBA and NBA PA like five, six days ago, I believe. It was at the beginning of this week, which I think it was the 15th. And his one season with the Raptors during the G League bubble, Harris averaged 17.6 points, shot 46% from the field, and including 50% for the, you know, Raptors 905 and I think those were his G League stats and Jalen Harris look I've always liked him out of Nevada second round pick he played a little bit of you know Louisiana Tech and he was a guy who always had skill always had skill and guess what he did when he went over to Italy still cooked he averaged 14 points shot yeah I know 30% from three 38.5 from the field but he shows the defensive ability with the Raptors though he averaged seven and a half points in 13 games, one and a half rebounds, 1.3 assists on about 13 minutes a night, shot 47% from 350 from the field. And he averaged with the, like I said, with the Raptors, 905, 17.6. And then in with the Scarborough, Scarborough shooting stars, he averaged 20.1. Like this guy has talent. No doubt about it. Okay. And I just think it's a shame if he doesn't get the opportunity that I think he's definitely deserving of. Uh, he's a guy who I think we all agree has immense talent, has the size for the NBA. And I think he just got busted, like just a bullshit reason. Like, I just think it's inexcusable. And it just shows how the NBA treat. I, I just don't think it's fair. Like, I understand, like, the NBA had a terrible, you know, problem in the 80s and 70s, primarily in the 70s. But let's not act like guys today act like that. Like, I think a lot more people, especially players in the NBA, because growing up, a lot of them were affected by that stuff, you know, lost family members. So I feel like he was used as like a scapegoat someone as like to make an example of and i just don't think that was fair and i think he's like kind of somebody they've been missing you know a wing player who can guard one through three hit be basically a three and d guy have some size have a bit of dog in him where he's not trying to be like a star but he's off the bench dog has that energy that you want your players to have and again, I'm, I'm just going to say it again. I just think it's BS that our man got this suspension. So that's where I want to hear your thoughts. Where are you guys with this? Like and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about this. And yeah, that's basically it. Have a good one. And I wonder how this is going to work with Jared Culver, you know, 
supposedly being signed? Let me read your thoughts down below.